All right, boys and girls, we've been talking about fixing things, using tools, measurement, thinking out problems all week. So I want you to think about all this when we're looking at this book, because there's a problem that if you're, if you pick up on it, you'll notice at the beginning of the book. Okay. But nobody else noticed it until the end of the book. You ready? The name of our story is Fix It by David McPhail. This is the inside cover art. You can see there's a, looks like there's a kitty cat chasing a mouse by the TV. And that kitty cat is chasing the mouse behind the TV. Now the kitty cat is staring at the mouse in the hole. And this is the title page, boys and girls. Fix It by David McPhail. One morning, Emma got up early to watch television. She got a doll. Cute, huh? But the TV didn't work. It was broke. Oh my goodness. Or at least that's what Emma thought. Emma asked her mother to fix it. Hurry, Mom, she cried. Hurry. Emma's mother tried to fix it, but she couldn't. Emma's father tried, but he couldn't figure out what was wrong with it either. So he couldn't fix it either. Oh no, Emma was not happy. She looks very sad. So, he called the fix-it man. Please hurry, he said, it's an emergency. Do you think it's an emergency if your TV doesn't work? I don't know, there might be other things you could do. Well, we'll see. The fix-it man came right away. See, he's got his tools in his toolbox like we were talking about. tried to fix the TV. Emma's mother and father tried to fix Emma. Hmm. Her father blew up a balloon. But Emma doesn't look any happier, does she? But then, oh no, the balloon popped. <gasps> oh no, now she's even sadder. Her mother sang a song to make her feel better. And so did the cat. Meow, 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 meow. Her father pretended to be a horse and give her piggyback rides. But Emma didn't feel like riding. She was just too sad. You've ever been too sad? You just didn't know what to do. Finally, her mother read her a book. Read it again, said Emma, when her mother had finished. Oh, look at that. Look at Daddy. He's getting the bill from the fix-it man. I don't think Daddy looks very happy. Fix-it man couldn't fix it. But Emma was happy with her book. Look. She said, read it again and again. Now I'm going to read to Millie, said Emma, and she went to her room. Millie is her doll's name, by the way. Then her father found out what was wrong with the TV. Who remembers the mouse and the cat behind the TV? Look what they did. They unplugged the TV. That's all that was wrong with it. How silly. Oh my goodness. Daddy called Emma. He said, I fixed it. But Emma didn't come out of her room. She was too busy. She was just too busy reading a story to Millie and the cat. So she found something else to do, didn't she? And it wasn't an emergency, was it? There you go. That's the end of our story.
Bye, boys and girls.